don't feed the raccoons. That's the message from Animal Care Services. I know that they're cute. Um, a lot of people look at them and think of the little raccoon bandits. But at the same time, the risk to the public is great. That risk is a raccoon possibly carrying rabies or another disease that could make people sick. People who live in this neighborhood have had their encounters with the creatures. One night, one uh, was in my trash can. Norman Hosey says people have fed the raccoons every night for the past several years that he's lived here. And the line between the two species is getting more and more blurred. And the raccoons seem like they're becoming like more civilized because they can actually come within like two or three feet of the person that's feeding them. That's too close for Animal Care Services, who believes if the feeding stops, the raccoons and the problems they can cause will go away. Let us take care of the raccoons and hopefully they naturally disperse once the feeding source is taken away. People who think they're doing a good thing despite warnings from experts to the contrary. We receive notices about like not feeding the raccoon, but I guess people have a kind of heart and decide to go ahead and feed them. Animal Care Services says it's bad for wildlife to become too dependent on people for food and that the food we give them might not be nutritious for them.